What's up my Pungyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over the MP280 from the folks at Oezel. This is an 8,000 milliamp, very small, lightweight, portable charger that allows you to use up to two different ports, USB, outputting, you know, an amazing 40 watts, depending on the device that you're charging. With that said, before we jump into it here, I wanted to let you know that the folks at Oezo did reach out to me, provide me complimentary and sponsor this video. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. Today we're going to obviously unbox it, we're going to show you that it charges your phone and your MacBook, but also we're going to show you some of the contenders here, you know, in the market and why this is definitely something that you guys should consider. The MP280 can charge up to a whopping 40 watts. It's got dual fast charge as well as magnetized attachment. It's compatible with MagSafe, Android, MacBook, all that good stuff. At 8,000 milliamps, it should charge at least up to two times for your iPhone 13 Pro Max and obviously more for all your smaller phones. This should be able to top off your MacBook Pro when you're in a pinch. The best part about it is it uses USB Type-C. There it is. What's awesome is it lights up here. I think that's great. You've got your two little uh, inputs right there, USB Type-C. Each side is 20 watts, so don't be mistaken. It's not 40 watts, but it's two 20-watt ports. Everywhere else is pretty much matte white. It is so light, tiny compared to uh, competitors. Comparing it to the iPhone here, it's about uh, maybe... It's a full width of the iPhone. That's about that. It is supposed to uh, MagSafe charge here, as it does. You see, it starts to charge, and it's charging at the maximum 7.5 watts because it gave me the MagSafe animation. I mean, this is an am this is amazing to be honest. It fits so tight. I'm using the leather case by Apple, and it still fits on there. It doesn't shake. You can see that uh, as as it charges, it's gonna light up and it's gonna tell you. However, I don't see any indicator of how much battery life is left. I presume how bright or dim this is depends on uh, how fast or how much it's charging. I mean, it supports pretty much any device that wirelessly charges. Here is my AirPods. As you can see, it's starting to charge here with the light on the back there. This is, this is amazing. How did I get 8,000 milliamps in this? Wow, I am amazed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, charge it on the back here on the iPhone. As you can see, it's it's gonna start charging again. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and plug in my MacBook Pro port. You can hear it now, it's still charging. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug in now my AirPods. The Oezel changes colors from blue to red, depending on, you know, how much battery is left and it'll adjust. Now, it's obviously not given 20 watts completely throughout all of this. It will definitely throttle the more devices you put on there, but it's still amazing that I'm able to charge through this little tiny device. Okay, who are the uh, competitors here? We've got a bunch of iWalk uh, devices that I've gotten in the past from uh, iWalk. We've got Anchor, we've got Zira, we've got Enforcer, and we've also got the Apple Power Bank. These are all competitors here that are all right around the same price range, except for the Apple because it's so much more expensive. Nonetheless, each one of these pretty much mimics the same features, except for none of them but this huge beast of a machine um, can even come close. Firstly, Enforcer is the most simple of the bunch here. This does not have two-way, but it can charge and then output one instead of having dual. Um, it is MagSafe compatible here, but this is only 5,000 milliamps. And this one is the weakest of the most. However, it does have a little, uh, flip, you know, like a little stand here for you to be able to. This only charges five watts. It doesn't give you the MagSafe noti notification when you charge it. Let's go ahead and show you now. Uh, Zira. Zira is the most like the Apple MagSafe power bank. However, it's a much larger power bank on the bottom side. Here, you've got your port, only one port. It does charge with MagSafe and it only does 5,000 milliamps. Coming down here, we've got the Anchor. 
This is the first gen anchor MagSafe power bank here as you guys can see. This is only 4000 milliamps and it doesn't charge up to 7.5 watts. It only charges up to 5 watts. This one is the weakest but most expensive of the bunch. We've got Anchor here, which actually has two ports. This is one of their older versions, the IQ. This was about 2019 that I got. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery. You can see the difference. It's got the two ports, no USB type C, and it does have a separate uh, port to charge. This does output up to 15 watts on both, which is nice, but it's nowhere near the 20 here. Uh, we've got another iWalk device. This is one of their first MagSafe. This is a 6,000 milliamp. It's got a metallic ring here as like a desk buddy. It's got an LED here on the front showing you what the percentage is, and it does have the charging port on the bottom. It does charge through MagSafe, which is 7.5 watts, which is about the maximum that most of the other ones do. This is the most recent MagSafe iWalk battery bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery. You've got this uh, you know, plastic face that only uses LED on the front. It is color. It is a little misshapen. It is kind of thick. It also has some heat seat grills on the back, but uh, it does charge here on the back and uh, gives you the MagSafe 7.5 watts. It is the clunkiest of the bunch. Uh, the most expensive of the bunch is the Apple MagSafe power bank. This is about 2000 milliamps. It'll get you about 30 to 40 percent charge, um, but it does have its own unique, you know, animation that it shows you. This does uh, charge up to 10 watts, which is nice, and it's supposed to be the most efficient. Uh, and it does do pass through if you want, which is something that you can consider. It's uh, the same kind of color. It says matte white. It's nowhere near the capacity of the MP280. For your information, each one of these do output through their port here. You can output any one of these here to your iPhone. The problem is, is uh, you know, you're not going to be able to really do it with multiple devices, just like, uh, just like we de demonstrated here. As you can clearly see here, the only device that comes close to the size is the Zira or maybe the Apple, but the Apple is, you know, honestly like four times as small, but it's a little bit bigger in size. Well, my Pungios here, despite the sponsorship, guys, I hope you guys honestly believe me when I say that this is probably a contender for the best MagSafe power bank of 2022. With that said here, make sure you guys check down below for the links in the description for the product pricing and availability. I will make sure and have that 2022 competition out there, but this kind of gives you a taste of that. This is an incredible device. It's super small. It has color LEDs to show you how much battery is left. It's purple right now, so we're probably maybe a quarter left, maybe more than that. Just the fact that it lights up is really awesome. It's really clean, it's matte, and it allows you to charge pass through and you know also charge two different other devices, making it a total of three devices that you can charge simultaneously. Now your charging rates do change, they do go down, and also the iPhone does throttle, so you're not getting the maximum 10 watts. You're only getting up to 7.5 watts because of uh, it being a third party. I think this is definitely something to consider. It's an awesome product and it doesn't make your phone that much more heavy. You can hide it in your palm as you're holding it. It can sit on your desk and just let it charge for the remainder of whatever it needs to do. I really like it. There's a myriad of colors that you guys can consider. But uh, guys, if you don't mind uh, helping out the channel by checking out those links. This is Andy with Andy Vlogs. Hopefully you like this content. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want more. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much.